kwangu swale kutoka kwa Merian moja kwa moja tunaungana naye tena uh, Stephen Leto ili aweze kutupasha ni yapi ambayo yanaendelea kwa sasa Leto Nam swale karibu kwenye makao makuu ya Jaramogi Oginga Odinga hapa jijini Nairobi Tuliko sasa ni eneo bunge la Langata ambapo makao makuu hayo yapo na ni hapa ndipo kinara wa azimio Raila Odinga na vinara wengine watakuwa wakiwaomboleza wote waliopoteza maisha yao kuanzia siku ya saba saba tarehe saba mwezi Julai mwaka huu walipofanya mkutano katika eneo la Kamukunji ama katika uwanja wa Kamukunji na kuelekea ama kujaribu kuingia kwenye katikati mwa jiji la Nairobi na kutokana na hayo wengi wakapata majeraha na wengi wakapata uh, kufu ama kupoteza maisha yao kutokana na makabiliano na maafisa wa polisi niliko sasa ndipo uh, pilka pilka za maandalizi yanaendelea manake hapa ndipo kinara wa azimio Raila Odinga alipata kiamsha kiamsha kinywa chake kupanga atakavyo kuwatembelea wote ambao wameathiriwa wameathirika katika mahospitali mbalimbali kuanzia hospitali ya Mamalusi hospitali ya Kenyatta na hospitali ya Mbagadhi ambapo mwenzangu Sethole yupo naye lakini nilipo sasa ni pilka pilka zinaendelea zina ambazo zinaongozwa na uh, 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 kiongozi walio walio wachache katika bunge la kitaifa lakini kabla kabla tuzungumze naye ni kuonyeshe ni kuonyesha tu taswira tukipita uh, hivi ni kwamba uh, shughuli hiyo itakapokuwa ikianza uh, mwendo wa saa ala siri au saa tisa eneo hili ndipo majina ya wale ambao wameaga dunia yatakuwa yakionyeshwa uh, ni uh, seti mbili moja hapa na moja upande wa kushoto uh, ni hapo ndipo majina yote yatakuwa yanaonyeshwa yana tu kwa mafamilia ambao wamepoteza wapendwa wa wao familia ambazo wamepata eh, wamepata msiba uh, kuna wale ambao tayari wamewazika wapendwa wao na kuna wale ambao tayari bado wanajitahidi kuhakikisha kwamba wamewazika wapendwa wao nikisonga kidogo kwamba ni maandalizi ya sehemu ya kuweka maua ya maombolezi Aa, katika ishara ya mkasha Uh, au vigil kwa lugha ya kimombo hapa ndipo kinara wa azimio na vinara wengine watakuwa wakiweka maua yao ya mkasha na kuonyesha tu kwamba wanasimama na wale wote ambao wamepoteza maisha yao familia ambazo wame, ambao ambazo zimepata uh, msiba ni eneo hili tayari baada alija kuwa tayari lakini ni pilka pilka za kuhakikisha kwamba baada ya lisali moja au uh, mbili uh, sehemu hii itakuwa imekuwa tayari uh, na ili tupate tu taswira kamili niungane na kiongozi walio wachache katika bunge la kitaifa opio wandai um, tuambie manake tujua wewe ni wale wanaotoka kwenye maeneo wanasema united kisumu and the united states of siaya tuzungumzie tell us what is the program looking like for today uh, thank you uh, very much uh, uh, steven leto uh, as you can clearly see we are set Uh, for this big event uh, today is a solemn occasion very very solemn and somber as we remember all those Kenyan patriots who have lost uh, their lives uh, in the hands of the police or elements within the police service uh, we are also here today to empathize with uh, those patriotic Kenyans who have been injured who have suffered various forms of injuries and are lying in various hospitals across the country uh, we shall be sitting here to pray for them to reflect on where we have come as a country where we are and where we should be going as a country uh, uh, there will be a short uh, speech of course uh, uh, from the leadership of Azimio uh, we shall of course also be uh, laying flowers in remembrance of those who have, depart who have departed us and uh, lighting candles yes, to commemorate this very, very uh, uh, special day yes, in the history of this country. Mwishimua uh, Wandai, kuna familia moja katika eneo la Kitengela ambao bado hadi kufikia sasa mwanao alifariki siku ya saba saba lakini hadi kufikia sasa bado hawajapata kumzika kwa sababu hawana hela ya kumtoa kwenye mochari je kuna mipango ya kusaidia familia ambazo wamepata msiba we are appealing to all uh, families uh, who have been affected one way or another uh, uh, as a result of the uh, very unwarranted police brutality uh, Uh, to come forward and give us the details 
uh, we are in the process of uh, compiling a, a, a full list of first of those who are dead uh, because we realize that there are people who are losing their lives much later uh, after the uh, peaceful demonstrations, okay, in, either in hospitals or in their homes. We want to, all that information to reach us. We want information about those who are uh, injured are in hospitals whom we haven't been able to reach. We want information about those who are unaccounted for because we are aware of Kenyans who simply disappeared. Yes, and you know that is possible because in the last few days we have seen uh, what is uh, basically comparable to abductions being carried out by persons calling themselves police officers. So we want all the information to come to us so that we can be able to see what to do. This morning, uh, uh, the leadership of Azimio uh, uh, has gone out in Nairobi to visit uh, various uh, persons who are injured uh, in, uh, in various hospitals. Uh, the leadership went to Mamalusi uh, uh, Kibaki Hospital in, uh, in Bakasi. Uh, uh, they have uh, gone again to Kenyatta National Hospital to basically visit these people who are lying there, uh, suffering gunshot wounds, to pray with them and also to console them. To console them. So uh, we are aware that there could be many, many others who are not yet uh, known uh, uh, in terms of where they are. So we appeal uh, for the families to come forward, especially this one of Kitengela. Uh, I will be talking it up after this. Yeah, but we want all, all such cases to come to us. La musho labda, baada ya kusitisha maandamano na haya yote, je, azimio mekunja mkia wake? Atuja sitisha maandamano. Let it be made very clear that we have neither called off nor suspended uh, uh, the peaceful demonstrations. We have simply changed tack this week uh, because we realized that a lot of Kenyans were, were agonizing in, 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 their village, in their villages, in their homes, as a result of uh, the unprecedented uh, police brutality. So we say let us take time this week uh, to mourn those who have left us and also to pray for those who are in hospitals and find a way of supporting them. On Friday this week, we shall be conducting a, a very, very big international prayer service here in Nairobi at a venue which we shall be communicated in due course. Uh, on that very day, we, we, we hope again to be launching a very, very big fund to be able to assist uh, uh, all these cases that you have talked about. So, Mandamanos have not been called off. Mandamanos have not been suspended. Uh, they are going on, but in different forms. Okay, I'm sure there are Kenyans who are actually demonstrating or, 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 or basically uh, 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 expressing defiance by staying in their homes. So come the end of this week, I'm sure there will be further announcements on the way forward. This is a struggle that Kenyans have to be part of until the end. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are in the... Um kiongozi wa chache katika bunge la kitaifa opio wandaye ambaye pia ni mbunge wa ugunja ni ratiba tu anatupa akisema kwamba uh, mengi yatakuwa yanashuhudiwa baadaye kuanzia mwendo wa saa tisa ambapo uh, wale wote ambao waliofariki kutokana na uh, makabiliano na maafisa wa usalama katika kuanzia tarehe saba yatakuwa yanawekwa uh, papa hapa na viongozi tayari wengi wa mashafika hapa wakimsubiri kinara wa Azimio Raila Odinga kumaliza uh, shughuli yake ya kufika kwenye hospitali mbalimbali mbali jijini Nairobi kabla ya kukutana naye na kufika hapa kutupatia hotuba na kutuelezea mwelekeo ni upi kutoka hapa kwa hivyo ni hayo yanaendelea ama hayo ndiyo yanajiri katika makao makuu ya Jaramogi Oginga Odinga katika eneo bunge la Langata hapa eneo la Upper Hill swali Steven Leto kutoka Langata hapa Nairobi ambapo ametupasha mengi kuhusu hali inavyoendelea kwa sasa tuelekee katika jiji la Nakuru ambapo oh ni, eh, ni Kisumu sasa tunaelekea Kisumu ambapo tuna ungana naye Laura Otieno ili aweze kutujuza